Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about Kadena. Kadena was one of the darlings of the last bull run, and it's come down a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Does it have the potential to skyrocket again 10x, 20x, 30x gains? Let's talk about it. Before I begin, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like the content that I'm providing and you want to see more, and lastly, hit that notification bell to be notified when I come out with new content. Let's get into it. So let's get into the uh, the market here. Um, pretty much we're red. Um, it looks like BTC got you know a little bit of a bump, but overall for the for the week it went down. Um, you know it's at about twenty one four now. ETH at sixteen hundred. Looks like Sol, Polkadot, Avalanche. You know everything's in the red. XRP's in the green a little, but overall the market's not not too hot. Not like it was the past couple of weeks. Coin market cap. Looking at the top ten here, just to elaborate a little bit more. You look at the last seven days. The far right there. A lot of the coins are, are in the red. Um, you know, BTC for the week is about down twelve point seven percent. ETH's down eighteen percent. Um, Solana down twenty two percent. Doge down eleven percent. So you know, not too hot right now in the crypto market. But it's to be expected. We're in a bear market, and Prices will chop and pretty much go down, downward trend, and you'll have some rallies here and there. But overall, the gains that we saw in 2021, I don't expect to see those this year. So right now, just accumulating your favorite coins um, when you see some downtrends, some dips, and you know, stack for the next bull run. That's what I'm doing. So let's talk about Kadena. So Kadena, you know, if you've seen my channel and you've seen other clips that I've done before, whenever I try to assess. Um, a coin, a project. I always want to look at social media. Social media is everything. We're on social media right now. And if you don't have a following, if you don't have any traction, your project could be the best in the world, but with no following, it's going to go nowhere fast. So looking at Kadena, we are um, Twitter page. They have about 246,000 followers. Not bad. Um, you know, if you look at, you know, ETH, or Solana, they're in the two millions. So still pretty small. This is, you know, they have a following, but they have a ways to go. Looks like they joined September 2016. Was around the time the coin was launched. If we look at the um, Discord page, they have about 18,000, you know, members. So there's some there's some people following it. Not that big of a following, you know, in my opinion, for a, you know a big project. But they're getting there. Twitter. Um, Cadex, which is their, um, you know, their gas free decks that has 36,000 followers. So, you know, some people are interested in it. Um, so see the founders, we have Stuart Pope joy, who's a founder CEO of Kadena in June, 2016. He was, you know, director of the new products division, JP Morgan. He has a bachelor of comparative literature from the university of California in Berkeley, and he helped create JP Morgan's first blockchain. And he is also part of the panel, the SEC uh, crypto committee. So the second founder, his name is, oh, well, let me get backtracks. Stuart Popjoy. He is LinkedIn connection as far as social media goes. He has 269 connections. Now let's get into it. The Will Martino is the second founder and he's also labeled as president of Kadena LLC. He has a degree in economics, mathematics, and fractal geometry from Yale University. You gotta be pretty smart to get that type of degree. Number one from Yale and fractal geom geometry. I don't even know what that is, but that's impressive. Smart guy. Help create JP Morgan's first blockchain. So these two guys are affiliated with blockchain um, and JP Morgan. So, you know, as we go through this project and we look and see what we find, you know, that JP Morgan is their thing. And, you know, surprisingly, as far as investors go, you don't see any JP Morgan uh, backers as far as investing into this chain, which I found Kind of interesting, um, but we'll get into that. Will Martino has about 500 plus connections, so he's a little bit more popular than the other guy. Um, but, you know, at least they're there. They're evident on social media, as you could be seen. Doesn't mean they can't still rug pull, but, you know, they're there and, and everything's being known. So I like that a lot with the project. So what is Kadena? You know, what separates it from ETH? What separates it from Solana, Polkadot, Cardano, these other L1 chains? Um, so it's one of the highest scaling layer one open source public blockchain networks in the world this is according to kadena uh, the kadena network claims that it can execute nearly 500,000 transactions per second it's impressive with the high speed kadena does not require layer two scaling like others such as ethereum so ethereum has polygon to scale 
Uh, Kadena makes blockchain accessible for everyone in the world. Kadena as an ecosystem provides security to Bitcoin unparalleled throughput, virtually free gas and smart contracts, and it optimizes the features and scalability of the PAX smart contract language. Kadena smart contract is supported by PACT. It allows the user to build effortless smart contracts. Users can write the contract or launch it on fifth DAP, making the contract much safer than any other smart contract. It also can provide the first crypto gas station, which will eliminate all transaction fees to customers. This step can lead to mass adoption of dApps. The unique architecture of Kadena can make it increased energy efficient transactions per second. Now, lastly, I know I've been reading a lot, but it's good to get a good background as far as what this chain does. Um, the public blockchain of network of Kadena is the only shared and scalable layer one proof of work network in use today. So a lot of L1s are proof of stake. And even Ethereum right now is switching from proof of work to proof of stake. So Kadena, they are going against the grain and they want to stay as proof of work. The scalability and throughput are achieved by braiding with multiple blockchains like Bitcoin. To meet higher demands in the network, they create a live network expansion from 10 chains to 20 chains. The multi-chain architecture prevents Kadena from reaching the throughput ceiling. Kadena is the only scalable proof of work platform which is capable of scaling. So basically they have one chain, the other chain communicates with each other and that's how they believe that they can scale and scale that quickly just by building chain upon chain and having them communicate with each other. Looking at the ecosystem here, it's very small as you can see. Um, as far as wallets go, they have support with Ledger. Um, not, they're not on Treasure yet. Uh, gaming, UFO Gaming, I know that was popular. Um, and their main um, DEX is going to be CADEX, and we see it up there. But as you can see here, it's pretty small. They don't, they don't have much um, developers on here, so it's a small ecosystem, and it's growing. Um, so as far as utility goes, the DeFi and, and uh, NFT payments, the pack provides flexibility and security to the system, serial and fractional NFTs, faster payment with the use of Curl Layer 2 technology. It's trustless, decentralized cross-chain transfers are executed seamlessly by the Kadena chain relay bridge. PACT is governed at three levels, code level, account management level, and setting strategic direction for key community, community initiatives. Kadena has a wrap version called WKDA, which operates in the Ethereum network, and it allows it to interact with EVM-compatible DeFi protocols, which is good. The network has partnered with Celo, Cosmos, CoinMetro, Flex, Ledger, Polkadot, Terra, no longer Terra, but Wrapped, Zellcore to create interoperability and integration within the network. Partnerships, I found this interesting. Um, they have partnerships, uh, development as far as Web2 and Web3 spaces with Microsoft Azure, which is Microsoft's proprietary cloud computing service and has partnered with Condena to help in the network's push to break into the enterprise blockchain space. TVL ranking, so total value lock as far as DeFi goes. Now, if you could tell by the ecosystem how small it was, I wouldn't imagine that they would have that much money in their DeFi. Um, so looking here, you see that they're ranked number 65. And at that 65 level, they have about uh, 8.9 million locked in the ecosystem. And if we look at that 8.9 million, you see that a majority of that is with their DEX, the CADEX. So again, not a lot of development, not a lot of, you know, uh, dApps on there, DeFi projects on there. So CADEX is the, is the main one. So NFTs, they do have some NFTs. Um, I haven't heard any of these, but, you know, looking up, I do see that they have some, you know, there's no traction there, but at least they're, they're in the space. We have Kadena Apes, Kadena Kong, Kadena Komodos, Kaneda Cacti, Kaneda Lazy Apes, and Kadena Friends. Here are some pictures of what the you know some of these NFTs look like. Is it me or are some of these NFTs look all the same? Um, but yeah, um, this one looks like some that I've seen on Cardano. Um, but then we have Kadena Kongs, which looks pretty cool. Um, but again, you, as you can see by the likes at the bottom, 166, there's not that much traction with these NFTs. So overall, all-time high, uh, back in November 2021, this coin was $0.24.16, cents, $24.16 cents to what it is now, which is $1.68. That's over 90% down from the all-time high. That's crazy. 
So we look at the tokenomics here. Like I said, it's a dollar sixty-eight per coin now. It's ranked one hundred and one on Coin Market Cap. Um, circulating supply you see here is about one hundred ninety-seven million. And as far as max supply goes, there's a billion. So you do the math on that. Um, you know, the market cap currently is about three hundred thirty-two million, but the inflation is what scares me with this coin. Um, well, again, one hundred ninety-seven. Uh, million coins out there and there's still a billion that's set to be deployed into this project so kda is the native cryptocurrency for the kadena platform it's used to pay for the kadena services provided the total supply is 1 billion tokens that are to be mined over 120 years 70 percent allocated to the miners 20 percent for the providers seven percent for investors and others rest is for the country and the others, I'm sorry, are for the contributors. Token schedules and allocations are designed to provide sustainability. Kadena is generated through mining. Existing coins can be used in three ways. Mining is incentivized by rewards for each block and will decrease gradually over the years. The total coin in the economy is 990 million, which will be 1 billion launch coins minus the 10 billion that's going to be burned at the launch or 10 million that's going to be burned at the launch. So they mentioned that I had to do some digging for this, that the miners get paid, um, but it's it's a little bit trickier than that. So the miners get paid with the transaction fees. And as we talk, discussed earlier, Cardano, their whole thing is there's no gas fees. There's my, you know, very, very minor fees. So when I look at what it is per transaction on this chain, it's a fraction of a penny. So miners would have to it'd be so many transactions in order for them to make a profit through the transaction fees. The other way miners get paid is through um, distribution of the coins. However, here, if you look at the fine print, that's over 70 years, 70 years, or I'm sorry, 100 years, they get distributed the coins. So, you know, number one, you have a coin, there's not that much activity going on it. So as far as transaction fees, they're not going to get paid doing that. And then miners get paid with tokens over 100 years. So I don't know about you, especially in a space like this, where everything moves so fast and there's always new projects. Mine, what gives you any motivation to come to this chain and mine for this? Um, in my opinion, I don't, I don't see what it is. But, you know, if you believe in the project and maybe you think there's a future, then yes, I can see it. But as far as if I was a miner, I'd, I'd go to another project where I think it'd be more successful, more profitable. There is staking on Kadena. Um, you can stake uh, if you go on to Coin Metro, but you need a minimum of 100 coins to start staking and earning passive income. So some news on Kadena. Uh, looks like they were listed on Live Coin Watch, and that was as recent of August, uh, August seventeenth. So that's a plus. Also, they are committing ten million to blockchain developers affected by recent events in the Web three space. That uh, they were talking about Terra back then. So they're trying to get some developers over there to come over and, and try to help with their chain. Uh, Kadena launches a hundred million grant fund to support early stage builders. So they're still trying to develop, um, trying to build their uh, their ecosystem. So I like that. That's a positive. You know, during the bear market, some projects sit still or don't announce what they're doing. They're still trying to build, still trying to grow. So I like that. So their roadmap is by the end of 2022, Kadena plans on achieving additional exchange listings. Most recently, they were listed in uh, on Binance. So that's good. And Kadena ecosystem will also see the first DEX launch on the platform and the introduction of wrapped native tokens. KBTC, so wrapped Bitcoin, wrapped ETH, and then wrapped USD. And then Marmalade is a native NFT standard, is also set to be released this year, along with the Kadena Cosmos IBC Bridge Testnet. So good, they're, they're still making progress, they're still developing, still growing. I like to see that in you know, these smaller projects during the bear market, so that's good. So my thoughts on Kadena. Um, pros, it's based in New York, so US regulated, you know, it's not one of these overseas companies that could just turn off the lights tomorrow morning and everything's gone. They have good tech for Web3, as, as described. It can be faster and cheaper than ETH, so that's good. And it's recently listed on Binance. The cons, the adoption. You know, I showed you the ecosystem, not that many developers going on there. As far as exchanges go, Binance has them listed. I know you can get it on a KuCoin. Other than that, you have to swap to get it. So it's not on Coinbase, not on Gemini, none of the big ones. I believe it's on Crypto.com as well, so that's good. DeFi NFTs are, are very small and lacking. I showed you that. Inflation, millions of tokens will suppress the price. I, I don't, you know, if you have 
the price, if it goes up and you keep flooding the, the market with coins, I don't see how it can go parabolic. Now, Haskell, the programming language, that's what they use. And that's what Cardano uses as well. And Haskell has been known to be a very difficult programming language. And, you know, that maybe that impacts what's going on with Cardano as well as far as it being slow. But a lot of developers don't like it. And so that's why you see them flock to different chains. So we'll see how it works out for them. Maybe over time, you know, developers can figure out Haskell and it won't be such an issue. But right now, Haskell is, is not the one. Miners are paid by gas fees. And we discussed, you know, the miners. I don't know what's going to attract them to the chain if, if the pay structure is, remains the same. I don't think it's that good. So over 90% down from the all-time high. As long as the team keeps working and growing the ecosystem and there's increased adoption, I don't see any reason why Kodena can't go back to 10, 12 bucks, 15 bucks from where it is right now. I mean, it's come down tremendously. There's no place to go but up. So with adoption and they keep building, I can see it. Uh, but my thoughts personally, as far as me, if I would um, you know, invest in this, I, I, I would not. I like projects, uh, investments, whatever I do. I like it where it's not inflationary. I like deflationary um, you know, projects and coins where I know that over time it's going to be less and less. It's going to increase the price and make it go up. It's hard. It's like a constant battle. You have price going up, more coins. Price going up, more coins. So I, I don't like that. Um, so hope you guys like the content. Hope you guys have a safe weekend. A uh, very productive week next week. And if you like the content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content and you want to see more of it. And hit that notification bell. Be notified when it come out with new content. Take care, guys.